Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have an emergency service call that we have a leaking water pipe. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Today we have an emergency call. It is currently 10.30 p.m. So what's going on right now is that we have a supply in return that's going to be these two large pipes and that is for our cooling tower these are all water cooler refrigeration units and in order for me to make this repair everything is going to have to be shut down so what's going on is that this pipe right here is leaking as you can see they wrap some tape and a little hose and that hose is pretty much leading into a drain that's a hose for <laughs> a wet vac and pretty much that's what's catching the water it's gonna be a really tricky one there's so many things in the way what I'm gonna actually try to do is make a hole from behind the wall and try to make that repair what makes this extremely hard or extremely annoying is that it's not just a straight piece of pipe you can see that it tees off right here and feeds this condensing unit so the pipe is up top over there and we do have access from behind here but the problem is if you see right here we got that piece in the way so we have such a tiny space in between I'm gonna see what I can do but this is gonna be extremely difficult and dirty all right let's make our way inside gonna make some space so if this was cut this would have been super easy but we got it in between here I can't really I can't really fit in there I might have to climb up top all these things in the way so the area is like right here so I'm gonna try my best to make a hole and possibly get my machine through here and crimp that connection so as of right now let's flatten this out a little bit i'm gonna set up a drop cloth and people smoking here and everything eating it's disgusting who the hell is having a meal here <laughs> oh man all right i'm gonna try to set something up i wish i can squeeze through here I'm gonna have to make some space somehow. Let's prep this area and start making this hole. You see my light shining through there. And then we have a hanger right there. So we're gonna start right over there. Oh man, this ain't gonna be fun. And to get it from here is just ridiculous. There's so many pipes in the way and I'll have to cut gas lines and water lines. It's gonna be tricky. So what I want to do is actually just put a coupling right here as far as this line. If we follow that. Let's see, right here, there's a takeoff right here. So I'm going to use this and then redo the piping from here to that pipe underneath. I mean, this whole thing is nuts. But let's get started. All right, I'm going to start with a little bit like this. See if we penetrate through the right wall. Hey Chris, do you see me through the wall? No, not yet. Okay, copy that. Must be a thicker wall. Let me get started here. I'll talk to you in a few. Copy that. Thank you. 
we need to be. Yep. All right, cool. I'm going to start opening this up a little more. Oh, man. All right. Cool. <laughs> Opened up that hole pretty well back there. The only thing that I'm noticing right now is that there's no water coming out of here now. This makes no sense. I know they had recently I heard something about the cooling tower having an issue where it kept losing water and they had to manually refill it. I wonder if this pipe is dry. Hold on, is that the supply or the return? So this one. Let's see, let's follow that. Comes down. Top one is supply. That's the return. I wonder if this pipe is literally empty right now and we're being starved of water. There might be bigger issues in this building than just this leak. I just don't understand how there's not water shooting out of there right now. Maybe there's water on the line, but that's just whatever's in there. It's like no real pressure. Something is really strange about that, but anyways, we're gonna start by turning off the power to all these condensing units. All right, so we turned off all the condensing units, so it should be okay. We got two more condensing units in the other room, and then we're gonna close the valves and try to drain this thing and see what that leak looks like. It's the first time I'm here in this room actually quiet. We got these two last units. Turn that off. This one is already closed, but it looks like the bypass is open. I don't know why they did that, but anyways, should be able to close this or that, and we'll stop the water flow because this one's closed, and then we gotta find the valve for the other side. stuff really gets confusing so here's the main pipe coming in then it branches off into this there's that pipe they got this closed they got that going if I probably close this and there's another pipe there I close something there. All right, we're closing off that branch. And just in case, let's follow this. Come back. It's that pipe coming through. That's closed already. But this is open. cooling tower supply as the domestic and cooling tower they have this set up as where if, if something happens with the cooling tower water they can just like flip a switch and electrically the domestic water supplies those lines so they can interchange so this piping is a little tricky okay this should do it now let's try to drain in the other room okay now that it's quiet you can hear the leak I can actually see it now. I don't know why, since we close it now, we can see this pressure coming out of there. I want to see exactly where it is. If you look closely in there, that's where it's leaking. See it's shooting out now. Let's try to drain this line. Okay. You know what? Could probably patch that up. It's not that bad. 
Look like me touching it just made it worse. All right, I see exactly where it is, right at that green mark. You know what, to be honest, I'd rather try, <laughs> I'd rather try patching it up. I wanna go home, man. All right. Looks like the valves are holding. For the most part, it's really calm, but let's make sure. Let's make sure that all stops. It's all the way open. This is all the way open. Tiny drip there. We open these two. So we're all drained pretty much on this end. This pipe curves down. So I'm trying to open up water where I can. Got a bit of a slope. Got this one hooked up. Let's see, this still got some water in the lines. I'm gonna try to patch this if I can. See all that water? Uh, that's all the way open. That's all the way open. I think we're good, but there still might be a little bit of water still stuck in that line. All right, so I got pretty much everything open. This one, this one, this one, this one, and down there. I think we're good. All right, looks like we're done draining. So that's the main pipe if you follow it this one i opened this valve same pipe i opened up this valve same pipe coming out i opened up this valve and this one so we're definitely venting well i'm gonna take that off and sand down the area and see exactly how bad it looks it's a tiny little pinhole Let's see if we sand it down and how bad it gets all right guys so this tiny, tiny little pinhole. Instead of cutting this and putting two couplings, I'm gonna try to patch it. Thing is, if I put the coupling, it'll definitely be a nicer repair. Then I gotta repipe this whole thing. I'm trying to get out of here, man. <laughs> oh man. I'm setting up my camera, not sure if you guys can see, but let's hope you can. thousand years later. I'm gonna open up the first valve. Keep an eye out. Let me know if there's any leaks. Copy. Anything? Nothing so far. 
All right, copy that. I'm opening up the water slowly. How's it looking like over there? Nothing. I mean, I hear it, but uh, no leak. Copy that, copy that. First valve is all open. Second valve is all open. Okay, hold up, I'm gonna open up the last one. I got the last one cracked open. Do you see anything? Nope. No leak. All right, should be fully open right now. You hear a bunch of weird noises. The water's definitely fully open. That's beautiful. Probably got air in the line right now. Let's drain some of this stuff. All right, let's open up one of those valves. Got it. Hold that good. Got it. All right. Uh, definitely got water in there. And that's that bottom line. All right, so air moves to the top of the pipes. So I just kept trying to bleed out air as from the highest points. And this was definitely going to be the highest point. So that's the pipe. And that's how high it is. So the air would definitely be there. When we bled this one, so much dirt came out of there. There was definitely a bunch of dirt stuck in the back over here. But anyways, the pipes are a lot more quiet. And the main thing is that it's not leaking. Thank God. All right. It's 2 o'clock in the morning right now. Got a bunch of tools to pack up. We got to start turning all these units on. But that was the repair. Getting to that leak. Probably gonna be here for another hour cleaning up. Just make sure everything's okay. But when we also bled out the air on those lines, these pipes are a lot more quiet as well. It's not, you don't hear that knocking. But anyways, that was it. Whew, that was quite a job. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.